Hey there, everybody, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Rama, and in today's video, I'll be breaking into vehicle cargo as a business. Is it good? Well, I'm going to be showcasing not only how to maximize your profits by only getting top-range vehicles when you source, but as well, we're going to be going over how much money it makes hourly and why this is actually my favorite business in the game. Let's get straight into it. To get started with vehicle cargo, you're going to need two different types of property. First of all, you're going to need an office building, which you can see me entering right here. Now, the majority of you probably already have an office building, and even if you don't, it's a pretty mandatory purchase if you want to get a lot of early businesses started in your career. So, I would suggest to get your hands on an office building, whether or whether or not you're planning on doing vehicle cargo. The cheapest one you can get is currently the Maze Bank one, which I'm sitting in, which is about a million dollars. It's a really good location. It's right off the highway. It's somewhat in a good location in the city. It's not like direct center like the Maze Bank building is, but it's still a very good location, especially for how cheap it is. After you purchase an office building, you're also going to need a vehicle cargo warehouse. Now, the location I own is, I'm pretty sure, the cheapest, and if it's not the cheapest, it's one of the cheapest warehouses you can get. This is the La Mesa one. Now, there's a lot of them available. If we take a look at all of the warehouses, you can see there's a decent chunk. Now, unlike special cargo, you only need to own one of these. So really, it's two options. Either you get a location near your office building. For example, I really like this one here, which is the LSIA, because it's a simple drive from the highway down here, and you're right over to my office building. Uh, but some of the other locations are pretty good as well, like La Puerta, but it is ridiculously expensive. This warehouse here, if I'm not mistaken, is only about 1.5 mil, making it the cheapest, and it's a very good purchase just because, yeah, it's not expensive at all. Don't waste more money than you need to on something that you only need to own one of. And even though, yeah, the location's a bit further away, honestly, it's not too bad of a deal, especially because you can buy an arcade. Or, even more specifically, I should add, it's not like you're taking trips to your office building from your vehicle warehouse. Normally what happens is you source the vehicle from your office building, you grab the car, you make your way to your vehicle warehouse, and what I do is I just change my spawn location back to my office, and then load into a new session and it teleports me right back in. It's very easy, very quick, and saves you a lot of time. You can also use the terabyte to spawn vehicles, and you can also use an arcade. All of those options are pretty easy to use. Let's make our way over to the warehouse. Once you purchase your vehicle warehouse and make your way to it, this is what the interior is going to look like. It's not the prettiest site ever, and you can upgrade it, but personally, I didn't upgrade the interior because you don't need to, it's just cosmetics. A great thing about vehicle cargo is that you don't don't need anything to make the business more efficient than it already is. It's not like the motorcycle club businesses where you need to purchase upgrades which are going to cost you another 1.5 to 2 million dollars. It's not like the bunker or anything else. Once you purchase this business, it is a fully operational on how much money you can make. Another cool thing about vehicle cargo is that this is where you can store your very special vehicles like the ramp buggy, the phantom wedge, and the ruiner 2000. You can see I've got three of mine right here and I think they're absolutely awesome and sick cars so if you did want to purchase any of these vehicles especially the phantom wedge for doing the kaioprico high setup a lot faster this is where you're going to have to store your cars you can't store them anywhere else it's a bit of a shame but i guess it also makes sense because this was one of the first ways of special vehicles actually being introduced into the game and it makes this business a little bit more special now that we've talked about the properties and everything outside of the business getting to this point let's now talk about how much Money you can earn and how to maximize your profits. As I said at the beginning of this video, this is probably my favorite business in the game. And the major reason why is because you actually feel like you're doing something. It's not like special cargo where you're just grabbing a crate and delivering it, grabbing another crate, and delivering it. This business, you get to steal a car, you get to upgrade the cars, and then sell the cars by driving them to the location. You're actually doing things with this business, and not all the cars are the same. Overall, I think it's pretty fun. Now, 
in total, there are 32 unique cars that you can get in this garage before you start to get duplicates. And I have all 32 vehicles in front of you. When it comes to top range, there are 12 in total. We can see them all here, three rows of four. Then we go into mid range, which there are 10 of in total, we can see here. And that is the exact same for standard range. None of these vehicles are duplicates. And as long as you keep sourcing zero to 32 cars in your garage, you will never get duplicates when it comes to vehicle cargo. Once you have exactly 80% of your vehicle cargo stored, you want to make sure and make sure that you do not source any more. If you do and you have any duplicates, sell the duplicates that you have. Because once you have 80% of your warehouse filled and you have no duplicates like you can see here, all you need to do is go to top range and sell a top range vehicle. And then you're going to get that top range vehicle back once again once you source. And I'm gonna showcase that, so let's just do uh, a fun vehicle to sell really quick. But before you do any sale mission with your vehicle cargo warehouse, make sure you're in a public lobby. As you can see, I have 25 people in my lobby. And what that means is that I'm actually going to get a 50% bonus when selling my vehicles, which is great. Vehicle cargo is one of those businesses where if your car gets blown up, it's not the end of the world. And if it doesn't get blown up, then that's even better because you're making a lot of money. So let us go to top range vehicles and let's do a fun car. How about the top? I think that's an absolutely sick looking car. Export, we're gonna do specialist dealer, which means I'll make 100,000. I do have to pay 20,000 though, so an $80,000 profit. However, since we are in a public lobby with over 21 people, we're actually gonna make $130,000 on this sale mission, which is pretty nice. So let's make this car a nice color here. Give our seller a nice car. There you go, that actually looks pretty sweet. Wheel type, I always stick with um, high end just because obviously they handle the best and that is quite important, but there you go. That was pretty easy to do. Car is fully upgraded and ready to be delivered. All right, we have to drive 4.23 miles to our buyer. Now, something you should keep in mind when it comes to vehicle cargo is that sometimes enemy AI will spawn on you, but usually, to what I'm aware, that only happens if you do sale missions in a solo lobby. If you're in a public lobby, you shouldn't actually have to worry about enemies trying to shoot at your car. The other thing is that as long as you don't crash, you should be fine. I'm just going to drive directly through the center of the city here, and I'm not going to worry all too much. The major thing I really like about vehicle cargo is that you're not in a slow vehicle. Like, when it comes to other businesses, you're in a car that goes, like, two miles an hour. You know, you got the post-op vans for the motorcycle club, the trash vans, and when you take a look at businesses, even, for example, like the bunker, you get vehicles that you'll have three or four of that are sitting out in the open that are very slow, like insurgents. When it comes to vehicle cargo, as long as you sell a fast car, like the tires here, you're very, very quickly going to be able to drive and hopefully evade a lot of the deaths. So you can see, I don't have a care in the world. I'll drive directly through the city here, no problems whatsoever. We've got 2.3 miles left until we've made it to our destination. Don't want to crash us, so I gotta slow down a little bit there. Let's keep on going. What I've noticed is a lot of people don't even care about blowing up your car when it comes to vehicle cargo, down to the fact that it is such a small reprieve. So, either way, I think this is one of the safest businesses out there, especially if you're a newer player. This is an incredibly easy and safe business to get started on. All right, well, let's keep on going. We got 1.6 miles until we've made it to our destination. And there you have it. It only took me about, what, two, three minutes of driving, and we have made it over to the low... Okay, well, that's on my fault. <laughs> that one's on me. I like how I made it there, and I was about to say it was zero damage, then I, uh... Then I, I literally crashed the car at the guy's gate. But we only lost $372. And because we're in a public lobby, you're going to see that I actually make, there you go, $150,000 of a payout. That's really good. Now, you do have to pay $20,000 to upgrade the vehicle. So it's $130,000 I made on a payout. When we make our way to our office computer and go to vehicle cargo, as you're going to notice, I have 78% on filled. And all I'm going to do is source a vehicle, and it should be 
the Tyrus. And there you go, Tyrus Top Range. That is because it is the only non-duplicate vehicle I'm currently missing. So that's a great way right there to always get top range vehicles over and over and over. If you like one car and you want to keep selling it over and over because you think you're good at driving it or something like that, that is my suggestion on how to make vehicle cargo very profitable. Now, it's a 20 minute cooldown for this business, which means you have plenty of time to go source your vehicle, which I'm gonna do here. It only takes about five to six minutes at max to really get the vehicle. And while you're waiting for that cooldown, it's super easy to finish. While you're doing that, at the same time, you can actually make in a public lobby $390,000 an hour just selling top range vehicles and resourcing them. But that's just with this. If we add into the fact that as well, you can also do payphone hits, you can actually make a very high amount of money, especially if you add in your passive businesses. Well, there you have it. My Tyrus has been delivered once again back to my vehicle warehouse. And if we take a look on my computer, you're going to see we do have a slight cooldown of 16 minutes left before we can do another sale mission. But that's fine, because what I'm going to do while we're waiting for that cooldown is a payphone hit, which is going to massively increase the amount of money you can make hourly with this business. So I would like to pick you up in my taxi. Thank you very, very much. Well, well, there you have it, $85,000 added into our bank account. Uh, just had to give my car some gas, don't worry about that. But, very simply put, we just made $85,000, and obviously to do another payphone hit, it's gonna be another 15 minute cooldown. Which you can see, we still have 11 minutes left before I can even sell this vehicle, giving me plenty of time to restock any of my passive businesses, maybe even do another security contract very quick. This is what's so great about vehicle cargo. As I said, you're making $130,000 every 20 minutes with vehicle cargo, and since you can constantly have have time to resource that vehicle and then sell it again, that means you're easily going to make, as long as you're in a public lobby, $390,000 an hour doing vehicle cargo. That is crazy good money, because you also can add into the fact that you're doing payphone hits. And payphone hits are every 15 minutes, you're making $85,000. So if you multiply 85 by four, which is 340,000, to the 390,000 you're also making with vehicle cargo, that means you're making $730,000 every hour just by doing vehicle cargo and as well payphone hits. If you add on the 144,000 an hour you can make just by making your way over to your special cargo warehouses and resupplying those, and then you also add on the about $110,000 an hour that you have from your nightclub which is constantly going on, you can actually make, no joke, over $1 million an hour with vehicle cargo. That is absolutely insane. People don't realize how good of a business vehicle cargo is, but if you use it correctly with your passive businesses in the background, it is by far one of the most efficient businesses out there. That is $1 million an hour for almost no effort being put in. It's actually a great money-making method, and it's something that people to this day really misuse. A lot of people think that, you know, you should constantly spam the Kyoprika heist, but honestly, this is a really efficient way of making money, especially if you just want to chill. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.